Module 7, Healthy Emotions, written by Dr. George Tanis and narrated by Lydia. Greetings, welcome to LifeCoachBootCamp.com. Important. Before you study this lesson please watch this video, why? Example. If you or your client are in a relationship, and the other person displayed an attitude of not being truthful, you need to master, and you need to educate your client the following. Confront and level. Assertive communications. As well as I feel good, PST. Positive self-talk. Make sure to answer the questions at the end and follow the instructions for submission. According to Robert Pletcher, a professor emeritus at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine and adjunct professor at the University of South Florida who received his Ph.D. from Columbia University and was also a psychologist, we human beings are gifted with eight basic emotions. These emotions are namely sadness, fear, anger, joy, surprise, shame, disgust, and interest. Every single day, we experience some of these basic emotions. There are days when we experience a wave of mixed, sometimes overwhelming, intense emotions. The interesting trait of emotions is that they are not constant. They are always fluctuating. They are influenced by our surroundings and environment. Nearly everything we interact with holds the power to influence our emotions either positively or negatively. Our overall health comprises physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. To be truly healthy, taking care of all the aspects is crucial. In this article, we are going to talk about healthy emotions, their benefits, and how to cultivate them. An emotionally healthy person is someone who is capable of accepting and expressing his feelings effectively. When our emotions are well balanced, we thrive in life. Instead of overreacting to the challenging situations and the roadblocks that life serves us every day, we handle them with a positive attitude and learn from them. Healthy emotions enable a person to be aware of his strengths, accept his shortcomings, welcome new experiences, and cope with any given situation without giving up. In a way, a person with healthy emotions leads a fulfilling life. He effectively finds a balance between his personal, professional, and social life, and holds the power of creating a life he truly desires. Benefits of Healthy Emotions There are many benefits of healthy emotions. Some of the benefits are as follows. Better control. Healthy emotions help you deal with situations better. Even when you face challenges that put you in a tough spot, healthy emotions help you stay under control. Decision making. Life presents challenges every single day where we are required to choose. To decide. When our emotions are balanced, we make better decisions. Better self-image. People with balanced and healthy emotions are aware of their strengths and weaknesses. They are aware that just like the others, they are human and are allowed to make mistakes. Instead of doubting themselves, they work on themselves. More productivity. People with a healthy emotional balance are more productive. Since they are able to handle stress better, take challenges positively, work better with teams, and don't hesitate to ask for help, they generate better results. Better relationships. Emotionally balanced people are better at relationships. They are better at empathizing, communicating, expressing feelings, and respecting boundaries. All these traits make them a delight to have around. While healthy emotions are good to have, maintaining a balance can be difficult. Sometimes, even after trying really hard, we become a victim of unhealthy emotions. What causes unhealthy emotions? Sometimes our hectic lifestyle and busy schedule take a toll on our emotional balance. Changing priorities, no time to analyze our emotions, and less time for ourselves get in the way of our emotional health, and cause an imbalance. Following are the few factors that invite unhealthy emotions. Denial. We often find ourselves denying our emotions. We might be feeling sad or low, but instead of accepting our sadness, we deny it and put on a happy face. Denial also stems from the inability to express emotions. People who find it difficult to deal with emotions often ignore or deny them. Work stress. The tight deadlines, workload, team management, and dealing with peers can easily cause emotional imbalance. Imbalanced diet. The busy lifestyle often doesn't give us the time to eat healthy meals. Binging on junk food and chugging down sugary sodas give rise to unhealthy emotions. Life events. Sudden and unexpected traumatic events can take a toll on your emotional health. Not giving yourself time to process and digest situations in order to grieve, to accept the consequences, and to deal with the overwhelming emotions, can contribute to unhealthy emotions. 
With so many roadblocks and hurdles, how can a person cultivate healthy emotions? Cultivating healthy emotions. Adopting healthy habits and making minor lifestyle changes can help you cultivate healthy emotions. Below are some steps that you can take to get rid of unhealthy emotions and incorporate healthy ones. Meditate. Meditation helps you get rid of stress, enhances emotional health, makes you more aware of yourself, develops compassion, enables you to empathize better with others, and boosts your attention span. Meditating for just 10 minutes a day can make a huge difference in your emotional health. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a type of meditation in which you focus on being intensely aware of what you're sensing and feeling in the moment, without interpretation or judgment. Practicing mindfulness involves breathing methods, guided imagery, and other practices to relax the body and mind, and help reduce stress. When you practice mindfulness, it helps you focus better, eliminates negative emotions, decreases stress, helps you sleep better, improves your heart rate, boosts self-awareness, brings clarity in your thoughts improves overall health, and promotes recovery. Get some sun. Most of us spend our days inside. We step outside the house only to step into our cars or board a bus. We go straight to our cubicle where we work all day. Research has shown that stepping out in the sun can help your brain produce serotonin, and can help you with depression and anxiety. Sparing a few minutes and taking a break to go on walks in the evening, can help you reduce stress and help make you happier. Vent. Some people prefer keeping their problems to themselves. They don't share anything with others and are brimming with overwhelming emotions. Venting helps you analyze the situation, accept it, and move on. When you discuss your problems with someone else, it equips you with a third-person perspective that enables you to zoom out. If you are someone who doesn't feel that sharing is a good idea, consider one of the many websites that enable you to chat and vent anonymously. Socialize. We all have the basic needs of being loved and accepted. When we hang out with people who make us feel loved and accepted, we get a sense of belonging. Socializing with people who motivate you and uplift you helps you cultivate healthy emotions. Do not associate with people who neglect you and view you as second class. Stay away. Exercise. Exercising can help you cultivate healthy emotions. Exercising regularly not only helps a person focus, but also improves the mood. Research has found that exercising can help you relieve stress, anxiety, depression, and other similar conditions, and can help you lead a happier and healthier life. Would you say that you are emotionally fit and healthy? On the scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your emotional health and what steps are you taking to improve it? The essay please write an essay, up to two pages, about your emotions. Are they healthy? If not, tell us why. Share your story in the forums. Our advice is for you to practice healthy emotions all the time. Tell us in detail, who, what, when, where, why, to whom, the place of what you did. The outcome. And tell us in detail how you could have changed that from what you learned today, so the outcome would have been better. Internalize this lesson. Make it become a part of you. Share your story in the forums. Our advice is for you to put this lesson into action. Become a member of the forum and share your thoughts or give feedback to others. That's how you gain practice in becoming a certified life coach. Read the article? Time to introspect. Do you also find yourself running away from your emotions? Why do you think you do that? How much time do you spend in the sun? What measures you do take to vent? Do you prefer talking to your loved ones or do you prefer anonymous chats? How often do you exercise in a week? What additional steps do you think can help you improve your emotional health? There is no way any relationship will survive without having the qualities mentioned above. Make sure to read each article carefully at least three times. Print your workbook and answer all questions. Once you have completed this entire journey, you will be issued a life coach certificate, so long as you've been a member of the forums. Also, Follow the instruction for sharing your story in our forums, as well as participating in our forums, especially our unique confessions forum, so you may gain practice, knowledge, experience, and expertise. I am thankful that you have given me this opportunity to share all of this with you. May God bless you and bring prosperity and peace into your life. Respectfully yours, George Tanis, Ph.D.